Henry VI, Holy Roman Emperor. Henry VI Heinrich VI, November 1165, 28 September 1197, a member of the Hohenstaufen dynasty, was King of Germany, King of the Romans from 1169, and Holy Roman Emperor from 1191 until his death. From 1194, he was also King of Sicily. He was the second son of Emperor Frederick Barbarossa and his consort Beatrix of Burgundy. Well educated in the Latin language as well as Roman and canon law, Henry was also a patron of poets and a skilled poet himself. In 1186 he was married to Constance of Sicily, the posthumous daughter of the Norman King Roger Roman II of Sicily. Henry, stuck in the Hohenstaufen conflict with the House of Wealth until 1194, had to enforce the inheritance claims by his wife against her nephew Count Tancred of Lex. Henry's attempt to conquer the Kingdom of Sicily failed at the Siege of Naples in 1191 due to an epidemic, and following his retreat Empress Constance was captured. Based on an enormous ransom for the release and submission of King Richard I of England, he conquered Sicily in 1194, however, intended unification with the Holy Roman Empire ultimately failed due to the opposition of the papacy. Henry threatened to invade the Byzantine Empire after 1194 and succeeded in extracting a ransom, the Alamanican from Emperor Alexios Roman III and Gilos in return for cancelling the invasion. He made the Kingdom of Cyprus and the Armenian Kingdom of Cilicia formal subjects of the empire and compelled Tunis and Tripolitania to pay tribute to him. In 1195 and 1196, he attempted to turn the Holy Roman Empire from an elective to a hereditary monarchy, the so-called Urbrichs plan, but met strong resistance from the prince electors and abandoned the plan. Henry pledged to go on crusade in 1195 and began preparations. The crusaders set sail for the Holy Land that same year, but Henry died of illness at Messina on 28 September 1197 before he could join them. His death plunged the empire into the chaos of the German throne dispute for the next 17 years. Biography Early Life Henry was born in autumn 1165 at the Valkhoff Felts of Nijmegen to Emperor Frederick Barbarossa and Beatrix of Burgundy. At the age of four his father had him elected King of the Romans during a Hoftag in Bamberg at Pentecost 1169. Henry was crowned on 15 August at Aachen Cathedral. He accompanied his father on his Italian campaign of 1174-76 against the Lombard League, whereby he was educated by Godfrey of Viterbo and associated with minnesingers like Friedrich von Hausen, Bligger von Steinach, and Berger von Horheim. Henry was fluent in Latin, and, according to the chronicler Alberic of Trois-Fontaines, was distinguished by gifts of knowledge, wreathed in flowers of eloquence, and learned in canon and Roman law. He was a patron of poets and poetry, and he almost certainly composed the song Kaiser Heinrich, now among the Weingarten song manuscripts. According to his rank, and with imperial eagle Reichsadler, regalia, and a scroll, he is the first and foremost to be portrayed in the famous Codex Manus, a 14th-century songbook manuscript featuring 140 reputed poets. At least three poems are attributed to a young and romantically-minded Henry V.I. In one of those he describes a romance that makes him forget all his earthly power, and neither riches nor royal dignity can outweigh his yearning for that Lady Eich Mitcher Versage, it resides mich eder crone before I give her up. I'd rather give up the crown. Emperor's son. Having returned to Germany in 1178, Henry supported his father against insurgent Duke Henry the Lion. He and his younger brother Frederick received the knightly accolade at the Diet of Pentecost Mainz in 1184. 
The emperor had already entered into negotiations with King William Roman II of Sicily to betroth his son and heir with Williams and Constance by 1184. Constance, almost 30 year old, was said to have been confined in Santissimo Salvator, Palermo as a nun since childhood to keep celibacy due to a prediction that her marriage would destroy Sicily despite having become the sole legitimate heir to William as the marriage of the latter had remained childless, and after the latter's death in November 1189, Henry had the opportunity of adding the Sicilian crown to the imperial one. He and Constance were married on 27 January 1186 in Milan. In the Hohenstaufen conflict with Pope Urban Roman III, Henry moved to the March of Tuscany, and with the aid of his deputy Markward von Anweiler devastated the adjacent territory of the Papal States. Back in Germany, he became sovereign ruler of the empire as his father had died while on the Third Crusade in 1190. Henry tried to secure his rule in the Low Countries by elevating Count Baldwin V of Hainaut to a margrave of Namur, and at the same time, he tried to reach a settlement with rivaling Duke Henry of Brabant. Further difficulties arose when the exiled Welf Duke Henry the Lion returned from England and began to subdue large estates in his former Duchy of Saxony. A Hohenstaufen campaign to Saxony had to be abandoned, when King Henry received the message of the death of King William Roman II of Sicily on 18 November 1189. The Sicilian Vice-Chancellor Matthew of Agelo pursued the succession of Count Tancred of Lex and gained the support of the Roman Curia. To assert his own rights in the inheritance dispute, Henry initially supported Tancred's rival Count Roger of Andrea and made arrangements for a campaign to Italy. The next year, he concluded a peace agreement with Henry the Lion at Fulda and moved farther southwards to Augsburg, where he learned that his father had died on crusade attempting to cross the Salaf River near Seleucia in the kingdom of Cilicia, now part of Turkey, on 10 June 1190. Imperial Coronation while he sent an imperial army to Italy, Henry initially stayed in Germany to settle the succession of Louis Roman III, landgrave of Thuringia, who had also died on the Third Crusade. He had planned to seize the Thuringian landgraviate as a reverted fief, but Louis' brother Hermann was able to reach his enfiefment. The next year, the king followed his army across the Alps. In Lodi he negotiated with Elena of Aquitaine, widow of King Henry Roman II of England, to break the engagement of her son King Richard with Alice, a daughter of late King Louis Roman VII of France. He hoped to deteriorate English-French relations, and to isolate Richard, who had offended him by backing Count Tancred in Sicily. Elena acted cleverly. She reached Henry's assurance that he would not interfere in her son's conflict with King Philip Roman II of France, and she would also prevent the marriage of Henry's younger brother Conrad with Berengaria of Castile to confine the Hohenstaufen claims to power. Henry entered into further negotiations with the Lombard League cities and with Pope Celestine Roman III on his imperial coronation and ceded Tusculum to the Pope. At Easter Monday on 15 April 1191 in Rome, Henry and his consort Constance were crowned emperor and impressed by Celestine. The crown of Sicily, however, was harder to gain, as the Sicilian nobility had chosen Count Tancred of Lex as their king. Henry began his work campaigning in Apulia and besieging Naples, but he encountered resistance when Tancred's vassal Margaritus of Brindisi came to the city's defense, harassed Henry's Pisan navy, and nearly destroyed the later arriving Genos contingent. Moreover, the imperial army had been heavily hit by an epidemic and Henry ultimately had to abandon the siege. Upon his retreat, those cities that had surrendered to Henry resubmitted to Tancred. As a result, Constance, who was left in the palace of Salerno as a sign that Henry would soon return, was betrayed and handed over to Tancred. 
Henry had to return to Germany when he learned that Henry the Lion had again incited a conflict with the Saxon House of Escania and the Counts of Schaunberg. His son Henry of Brunswick deserted from the imperial army in Italy and was ostracized by the emperor at the Hoftag in Worms at Pentecost 1192. However, Henry VI had to realize that his powers were limited after his closest ally in Saxony, Archbishop Witchman of Magdeburg, died. He concluded another armistice with inflammatory Henry the Lion. Meanwhile, despite the fact that his wife had been captured by Sicilians, Henry refused Celestine Roman III's offers to make peace with Tancred. While Tancred would not permit Constance to be ransomed unless Henry recognized him, Henry complained of her capture to Celestine. In June 1192, Constance was released on the intervention of Pope Celestine Roman III, who in return recognized Tancred as King of Sicily. Constance was to be sent to Rome for Celestine Roman III to put pressure on Henry, but German soldiers managed to set up an ambush on the border of Papal States and freed Constance. On the other hand, the Emperor was able to strengthen his power base in the Duchy of Swabia when he inherited the possessions of Henry the Lion's cousin Welf VI. During the election of a new Bishop of Lutich, he favored Albert de Riffel for Albert was a maternal uncle of then captive Empress Constance, whom both he and Constance had planned to be the next Bishop of Liege, but the other candidate Albert of Louvain, the brother of Duke Henry of Brabant, gained more support. In January 1192, Henry claimed the election was under dispute and appointed his newly made imperial chancellor Lothar of Hochstetten, provost of the Church of St. Cassius in Bonn and brother of Count Dietrich of Hochstetten instead, and in September 1192, he proceeded to Lutich Liege to enforce the succession. The majority of the electors of Liege accepted the imperial decision, because of the emperor's threat, and Albert de Riffel also relinquished and indignantly refused a financial settlement offered by the emperor. Albert of Louvain had to yield and sought support from the pope in Rome and from the archbishop of Rheims. In Rheims, he took the holy orders with papal consent, but he was killed soon after by hired assassins. His brother Duke Henry chose to conclude a peace agreement with the emperor but remained a bitter enemy. Emperor Henry already was concerned with the deposition of the wealth supporter Archbishop Hartwig Roman II of Bremen. He further had to arbitrate in a conflict in the Margraviate of Mason on the eastern border of the empire, where the Wetton Margrave Albert I had to fend off the claims raised by his brother Theoderic and Landgrave Hermann of Thuringia. Meanwhile, the opposition in the West took on a dramatic scale when the Dukes of Brabant and Limburg joined forces with Archbishop Bruno Roman III of Cologne. A massive confederacy against the Emperor loomed ahead, including Archbishop Conrad of Mainz, Archchancellor of Germany, and Duke Ottokar I of Bohemia, as well Henry's old rival Henry the Lion, the Swabian House of Zaringen, the English Crown, and the Pope, irritated by the killing of Albert of Louvain. Capture of Richard the Lionheart At this stage, Henry had a stroke of good fortune when the Badenburg Duke Leopold V of Austria gave him his prominent prisoner, Richard the Lionheart, King of England, whom he had captured on his way back from the Third Crusade and arrested at Dernstein Castle. On 28 March 1193, Richard was handed over to the Emperor in Speyer and imprisoned at Trifles Castle, taking revenge for Richard's alliance with Tancred of Lex. Ignoring his nearly excommunication by Pope Celestine Roman III for imprisoning a former crusader, he held the English king for a ransom of 150,000 silver marks and officially declared a dowry of Richard's niece, Eleanor, who was to marry Duke Leopold's son, Frederick. The opposition princes had to face the defeat of their mighty ally and to refrain from their plans to overthrow the Hohenstaufen dynasty. Backed by his mother, Eleanor of Aquitaine, 
who successfully defended his interests against his rivaling brother John, Count of Mortain, and his ally King Philip of France, King Richard procured his release in exchange for the huge ransom, a further interest payment, and his oath of allegiance to Henry. In turn, the emperor, under threat of military violence, demanded the restitution of the French lands, which John had seized upon approval by Philip during Richard's absence. Henry not only gained another vassal and ally, he could also assume the role of a mediator between England and France. He and Richard ceremoniously reconciled at the Hoftag in Speyer during Holy Week 1194, the English king publicly regretted any hostilities genuflected, and cast himself on the emperor's mercy. He was released and returned to England. At the same time, Henry settled the long-standing conflict with the Welf dynasty when he secured the marriage of Agnes of Hohenstaufen, daughter of his cousin Count Palatine Conrad, to Henry the Lion's son Henry of Brunswick, followed by a peace agreement in March 1194. Conquest of Sicily. Meanwhile, the situation in southern Italy had grown worse after Henry's defeat at Naples. Tancred's brother-in-law Count Richard of Assera had reconquered large parts of Apulia, and Tancred himself had reached the allowance of his claims by the Pope. Henry was granted free passage in northern Italy, having forged an alliance with the Lombard communes. In February 1194, Tancred of Lex died, leaving as heir a young boy. In May, Emperor Henry, based on King Richard's ransom, again set out for Italy. He reached Milan at Pentecost and occupied Naples in August. He met little resistance and on 20 November 1194 entered Palermo capital of Kingdom of Sicily and was crowned king on 25 December. On the next day his wife Constance, who had stayed back in Isi, gave birth to his only son and heir Frederick Roman II, the future emperor and king of Sicily and Jerusalem. The young William and his mother Sibylla had fled to Caltabalata Castle. He officially renounced the Sicilian kingdom in turn for the county of Lex and the principality of Capua. A few days after Henry's coronation, however, the royal family and several Norman nobles were accused of a coup attempt and arrested. Henry is said to have had William blinded and castrated, while many of his Leon's men were burned alive. Some, however, like the Siculo Greek Eugene of Palermo, transitioned into the new Hohenstaufen government with ease. William probably was deported to Altum's Hohenum's castle in Swabia, where he died in captivity about 1198. To take revenge of the capture of his wife Henry hanged Richard, Count of Assera, brother of Sibylla, in 1196. In March 1195, Henry held a hoftag in Bari and appointed his wife Constance Sicilian Queen Regnant, though with Henry's liensman Conrad of Urslingen, elevated to a hereditary Duke of Spoleto as imperial vicar to secure the emperor's position in southern Italy. He placed further ministeriales in the Sicilian administration, like the Troia Bishop Walter of Paleria, who became Chancellor. His loyal henchman Marquard von Anweiler was appointed a Duke of Ravenna, placing him in a highly strategic position to control the route to Sicily via the Italian Romagna region and the Apennines. Henry's younger brother Philip of Swabia was vested with the large estates of late Margravine Matilda in Tuscany. The emperor also felt strong enough to send home the Pisan and Genos ships without giving their governments the promised concessions. Universal ruler. At that point, Emperor Henry was the most powerful monarch in the Mediterranean and Europe. However, his aims to integrate Sicily into the empire as a second power base of the Hohenstaufen dynasty were not realized during his lifetime. The negotiations with Pope Celestine Roman III to approve the unification Unio Rigni at Imperium in return of another crusade reached a deadlock. On the other hand, 
His beliefs of a universal rule, according to the translatio imperii concept, collided with the existence of the Byzantine Empire, reflected in Henry's expansionist policies by the imposition of suzerainty over King Leo I of Armenia and King Amory of Cyprus. In 1195, Henry's envoys in Constantinople raised claims to former Italo Norman possessions around Duracium Durs one of the most important naval bases on the eastern Adriatic coast, and pressed for a contribution to the planned crusade. Upon the deposition of Emperor Isaac Roman II, Angelos Henry openly threatened with an attack on Byzantine territory. He already evolved plans to betroth his younger brother Philip to Isaac's daughter Princess Irene Angelina deliberately or not opening up a perspective to unite the Western and Eastern Empire under Hohenstaufen rule. According to the contemporary historian Nyctis Choniates, his legates were able to collect a large tribute from Isaac's brother and successor Alexios Roman III, which however was not paid before Henry's death. Emperor Henry came down to earth when an armistice between Pisa and the Republic of Venice ended, and the Pisan navy immediately entered the Adriatic to attack the Venetian harbor of Polopila, where they suffered a disastrous defeat. La Serenissima had suspiciously eyed Henry's claims to Adriatic ports threatening her dominating position and commercial interests in the region. The emperor had to culminate the conflict by arranging a peace treaty and confirming the Venetian autonomy. Hereditary Monarchy In summer 1195 Henry returned to Germany in order to call for support to launch his crusade and to arrange his succession in the case of his death. However, he first again had to deal with the quarrels in the Wetton Margraviate of Mason upon the death of Margrave Albert I as Albert had tried to gain control over the adjacent Plesnerland and imperial Hohenstaufen territory, Henry took the occasion to deny the inheritance claims of the Margrave's younger brother Theodoric and seized the Mason territory for himself. In October he reconciled with Archbishop Hartwig of Bremen at Jelnhausen and was able to obtain the support of numerous Saxon and Thuringian nobles for his crusade which was scheduled to begin on Christmas 1196. His next aim was to make the imperial crown hereditary. Henry tried to secure the imperial election of his son Frederick Roman II as King of the Romans, spending the winter in Hagenau Castle. The emperor and his ministerials evolved the idea of a hereditary monarchy though they would have lost their right to elect the kings. The secular princes themselves wished to make their imperial fiefs hereditary and to be inheritable by the female line as well, and Henry agreed to consider these demands. The emperor also bought the support of ecclesiastical princes by announcing that he would be willing to give up the just spolii and the right to receive recurring earnings from church lands during a period of seed vacante at the Diet of Würzburg, held in March-April 1196, he managed to convince the majority of the princes to vote for his proposal. However, Archbishop Adolf of Cologne did not even put in an appearance and several princes, predominantly in Saxony and Thuringia, were still dissatisfied. While in July 1196 Henry proceeded to Burgundy and Italy in order to negotiate with Pope Celestine Roman III, the resistance in Germany grew. At the following Diet at Erfurt in October, a majority of the princes rejected the Emperor's plans. Furthermore, the Pope, still concerned in view of the Hohenstaufen rule over Sicily, broke off the talks. Nevertheless, on Christmas Henry's son Frederick Roman II was elected King of the Romans in Frankfurt. Death. At the same time, the emperor stayed in Capua, where he had Count Richard of Assera, held in custody by his ministeriales de Pold von Schweinspunt, cruelly executed. He entered Sicily in March 1197 and applied himself to prepare his crusade in Messina. Soon after, the tyrannical power of the foreign king in Italy spurred a revolt, especially around Catania and southern Sicily, which his German soldiers, 
led by Marquardt of Anweiler and Henry of Calden, suppressed mercilessly. The rebels even sought to make Count Jordan of Bovino king in Henry's place. Even Queen Constance, provoked by the neglect of Henry and pitying her countrymen, joined the revolts against him and besieged him in a castle, forcing him into a treaty. In the midst of preparations, Henry fell ill with chills while hunting near Fiumedinacy and on 28 September died, possibly of malaria, in Messina, although it is also widely believed that he was poisoned. His wife Constance had him buried at Messina. His mortal remains were transferred to Palermo Cathedral in 1198. Various items were removed from Henry V.I. grave in the late 18th century. They include the remains of a shoe, a headband, and an ornate silk textile that originally wrapped the body. Henry's minor son Frederick Roman II was to inherit both the Kingdom of Sicily and the Imperial Crown. However, a number of princes around Archbishop Adolf of Cologne elected the wealth Otto of Brunswick. To defend the claims of the Hohenstaufen dynasty, Frederick's uncle Philip of Swabia had himself elected King of the Romans in March 1198. The German throne quarrel lasted nearly 20 years, till Frederick was again elected king in 1212 and Otto, defeated by the French in the 1214 Battle of Bouvines and abandoned by his former allies, finally died in 1218. Reception During his rule in Germany, Henry moved from one Kaiser Pfalz residence to another or to a lesser extent stayed at Prince Bishop's sees in the tradition of the medieval itinerant kingship. He concentrated on the Franconian core locations of his kingdom, while the Bavarian and Saxon lands were less subject to the central authority. His travel routes through Germany as well as his campaigns in Italy are documented by numerous deeds he issued year by year. The emperor strongly relied on high-ranking clergy, like the archbishops Philip of Cologne and Conrad of Mainz. Several contemporary accounts of his life given by ecclesiastical chroniclers like Godfrey of Viterbo or Peter of Evali in his Liber at Honorum Augusti on the emperor's conquest of Sicily paint a bright picture of Henry's rule, while the annals by Otto of St. Blasian are considered more objective. In his Arnoldi Chronica Slavorum, the chronicler Arnold of Lübeck concentrates on the dispute between the Hohenstaufen and Welf dynasties from a pronounced Welf perspective. The Hohenstaufen rule in Italy and the Mezzogiorno is documented by the chronicles of Archbishop Romuald, Salerno and Richard of San Germano. Henry's conflict with King Richard I of England is rendered by Roger of Hoveden and Gervais of Tilbury, expressing their negative attitudes towards the emperor. Later historians stressed the fact of Henry's early death and the succeeding throne quarrel as a stroke of fate and a major setback for the development of a German nation-state begun under his father Frederick Barbarossa. On the other hand, the emperor's stern measures, Sicily earned him the reputation of a cruel and merciless ruler. Present day, Historical research classifies Henry as a man of his time. Though a capable ruler, he had to cope with the centrifugal forces of the disintegrating empire, while at the same time, he overstretched the Hohenstaufen realm to an extent that finally could not be kept together. Ancestry